Welcome to Twisted Monday. After some very mild technical difficulties. My emulator doesn't want to get picked up by OBS anymore. Weird. Anyway, we have played, if my math is correct, six previous entire campaigns through Twisted Metal 1. There are 12 total vehicles, and if my math is correct, that means we played exactly half of the game. And if my math isn't correct, then we're like coming up on half now or something. We're at the halfway point. So I figured, let's play a vehicle that has exactly halfway stats. Just middle of the line in every single way. Couldn't be more halfway, Yellow Jacket. This is a game of extremes. You do not want to be in the dead center. Centrists are doomed in the world of Twisted Metal. So let's play as Yellow Jacket anyway, despite the impediment that he faces. He's a lonely old cab driver from the streets of New York. He's traveled quite a distance to compete, because this is LA. He wants to know what happened to his son, a young man who disappeared. 20 years ago. He throws Molotov cocktails at people. Classic New York pastime. Crude but effective. We shall see. I think a lot of those threes might be a little inflated. But why talk about it when I could show you? Against Hammerhead, this keeps happening. Hammerhead is the worst enemy to get in the arena, especially her yellow jacket. So I expect to die. Several times. And then have to reload. On the first level. This would happen with basically any vehicle. So... The fact that we are stuck as yellow jacket... Is not withstanding at the moment. Don't even worry about it. This could happen to anyone, it could happen to you, if you were to play Twisted Metal 1. Although you probably wouldn't. I have sort of come around on Twisted Metal 1, it's horrifically imbalanced, but... It has fun elements to it. I've learned to appreciate its subtleties over the years. It's a weird Stockholm Syndrome. But the first time I played this game, I despised it. Zero out of five stars. Then I kept playing it, and it just made me hate it more and more and more. And then eventually, I started to, like, do a 180 on it. Really got in there, figured out the mechanics. Playing it enough. Like I said, a 180 on Twisted Metal 1. And then as I continue to play it, I'm starting to do like a 270, might do a full 360 eventually. Mostly because it insisted on dealing the hammerhead in the first level. A one-on-one -on -one fight. I'm gonna try and kill him with Molotov so that I save ammo. Why am I doing that? The first level is already doomed. There. Who needs ammo? All I need is Hammerhead to die. All ensuing opponents are vetted. Such that they are equally likely to be Hammerhead every single time I play the level. That likelihood is either 100% or 0%, depending on the level. Not up to the best start that I possibly could be for one life. Represent Fury cannot steal my health refill, at least. I do like that element of this game. And... He's backfiring fire missiles, it looks like. 
pretty sure rear missiles have a red trail behind them. Fire missiles definitely have the orange trail, and that's what he was firing. Damn, pretty sure Crimson Fury was just cheating. But that'll happen here. In Twisted Metal. Where the entire world wants you dead. This game is very brutal to its players. Alright, max is carrying capacity. We got all we need. To throw Molotovs. Molotov damage is not fantastic. Not fantastic at all. It has no homing. Just fires straight forward. Typically won't do much when it gets there. Welcome, Itzerado. Thank you for the gift sub. <laughs> Uh, people are happy to see Yellow Jacket. They don't know yet what we're in for. I'm about to game over on the second level. Get rid of freeze missiles. I don't care for them. Crimson Fury. Everyone's in the red, at least. Okay, one down. So many to go. I crashed into a parked car. I might not be ready for Twisted Metal, but I am a realistic taxi cab at least. Maybe bring down Dark Side. And Thumper rarely attacks from range. Thumper is programmed to get up close and personal. That gives you a lot of opportunities to deal a lot of damage. Number does not have very much HP left, so we might actually survive the second level. Of Twisted Metal. I certainly hope so. That would be a good start. To all this. Number will fire fire missiles because he's a fire themed vehicle. This straightaway is no longer treating me well. I'm gonna head back here. I think the dog makes an actual bark sound when you're nearby that I've never noticed before. Could always be some other sound effect that I've never noticed before. But I have every reason to believe it was the dog. Just get a little bit of distance, turn around, joust with Thumper. We both died, but I died first. You have to die well after your enemy. But we all saw a Thumper died. I'm gonna jump ahead. To the freeway. You don't need to see me beat that level again. I just beat it. We were all there. There's video evidence. Uh, so. Any objections? There, there are no objections in chat. The person who they just buy a gift sub is maybe a little mild objector. But we're good. We got to jump right to X square square circle triangle. We earned it. The freeway free for all. They do us the decency of starting the enemy facing away from us. We saw in the PC version, not the case.
Gotta love the sound effect that plays every single time we fire our special. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I thought Hammerhead was way too far away to get hit with the rear shots. But no. I honestly think the game doesn't even check. If the missile would hit the enemy, it just checks if the enemy is behind you. Then it gives you a hit for the rear fire missiles. Sweet 2 Special has the exact same sprite as Yellow Jackets. It just does way more damage and is way better in every single way. It's way better in terms of damage, and that is the only way that the special interacts with the world at all, so... Therefore, better in every way. Might need those rear fire missiles. They're pretty good on the freeway. And forward fire missiles and homing missiles. A lot of ammo out on the highway today. Toss these. They never do anything. Oh, everyone's stacked up. This is a bit scary. If I lure them into my minefield, I can start sniping them. I don't know what Sweet Tooth just fired at me, but I don't like it. That must have been a homing missile. Typically, the AI is not allowed to use homing missiles because homing missiles are too good. They have, like, flawless homing and deal a ton of damage. Homing missiles are very, very powerful in this game. So are an extremely limited resource. I've never seen all the enemies stack up like this. This is madness. That was Sweet Tooth's bounce pad. I sent me over Hammerhead there to relative safety. Hammerhead's significantly less dangerous when he's not in the arena. Still very dangerous. Always very dangerous. Dark side right behind me. I should be able to kill it with rear fire missiles. Quite. Give it a taste of the old free shot. That is your own medicine. How do you like it? That went surprisingly well for me. I do try to get rid of free shots for precisely that reason. I don't typically hit anybody. Molotov that guy down. Uh oh. Homing missiles and bullets. Bullets did me in. Close one. I was going to, like, break free. Head over here and get the full health refill. Could not quite manage it, but I was really close. Well on my way. Almost made it. Almost to the finish line. And where did everyone disperse to? Confusing. But the recharges are back online. We're all set. Sweet Tooth has one HP. I finished him with machine guns. How does he like it? Probably not very much. It's all because Sweet Tooth has homing missiles. I never noticed before that Sweet Tooth has access to homing missiles. That's why Sweet Tooth is so dangerous. I always figured it was because he's special. Which does the same thing as homing missiles, but isn't homing. Still fires his special all over the place, but he also fires homing missiles now. Only when he sees his father, maybe. 
Charlie pisses him off so much. It's gotta home him to death. It's gonna do it again. I don't even know what a oh yeah emo would look like. I guess it would have to be like the Molotov cocktail sprite with oh yeah written over it in stylized font. Or like sloppy graffiti font as appears in several places in this level. But I would basically have to make it from scratch. I don't know if I'm up to that. There's uh, the Mr. Grimm special. Seen that in chat a few times. I'm not really attacking anybody because this level is also very chaotic right now. <laughs> Pit Viper Acid Splat. I think I actually have the sprite for the Pit Viper Splat. Ready to go. So I think I could do that. And yeah, if I put, oh yeah, it would be in this sloppy graffiti-esque font. We got bounce pads, we got two very large vehicles. Everything you want to see in your life. I suppose it technically was cheating to skip to the freeway because, and only because, the game had not yet displayed the password officially. So if I had been playing Legitimately, and I didn't know the passwords in advance. I could not have learned the password. And thus would have had to replay the level. But also, whatever. So... No one is hurt that badly, which is... Less than ideal for how long we've been running this level. I mean, Dark Side's in the red, at least. Mr. Grimm, we're not gonna fight him. He's just gonna run laps around the level for another 10 minutes. Wait till everyone else dies. Then he's gonna go collect their souls because he's the Grim Reaper. I'm gonna do a barrel roll and wait for, I guess that's Outlaw, to chase me down. Outlaw typically does not have a very high damage output. But it is frequently very annoying. Should not have wasted that power missile. Don't go for snapshots with power missiles. A lesson I have learned many times. Oh, how did Outlaw dodge that homing missile? This is not a good place to combat, yeah. Outlaw's got the right idea of running out of that little alleyway. Did not save him. Ah. Uh, chill, relaxing music. Not at all foreboding. I love it. Keeps me warm. It's late autumn, midday <laughs> streams. Uh oh. Snipe with a freeze shot. Dark side's all over my case. And I killed it. But it was very costly to do so. Gonna head for the full health so that I'm nearby when the worst happens. For now, we'll take this. 
do some uh, very important combat, and then we'll get the full heal. Our special regenerates constantly. We always have Molotov cocktails. Charlie just has been cooking up Molotovs his whole life. He can throw these things together in seconds. It's pretty impressive, actually. Got a special in on Grim. But Sweet Tooth is all over me. Really hates his dad, that guy. Does he not know that Charlie is just here to rescue him? He must not, because Charlie moved across the country without bringing Sweet Tooth with him. While Sweet Tooth got institutionalized. So their relationship is somewhat estranged. But Charlie claims that his son disappeared 20 years ago in his intro bio. Make your own assumption there as to the reliability of Charlie's testimony. We'll get a good sense for his general vibe as a character when we get to his ending. If you're not familiar already, because I did highly recommend everyone watch his ending. The last time we saw Twisted Metal 1. And yeah, it's a classic. Pit Viper dropped a road spike and then ran over it herself. It was not convenient for very long, though. So now we officially need to cash in the full health, which is not on this side. It's way over here. Well guarded. Not anymore. Right about here. Usually it's a little farther than the guy. I usually have a better job finding it if I'm the other way around. Getting shot through the wall somehow. There it is. I think that was a little earlier than where the guy was standing. It's weird that they put such game changers in such hidden spots. Ooh, I hit um, two road spikes and I brought my speed down to absolutely nothing. Two road spikes and an oil slick. I could neither move nor control myself when I did move. Damn you, Warthog. Touch anybody in this game. Your health is gone. And the big vehicles, they just get to touch you all day long. Because they don't care. They have health to burn. Went well, nice easy kill, Warthog's ready to die, and then it's just Mr. Grimm. I'd rather not fight him on the bridge, though. But yeah, he's not coming back. Pop him off the ground with a Molotov. Almost every special has the effect of turning a vehicle's direction and bouncing them at least a little bit off the ground. Usually very, very far off the ground. That has a very powerful effect most of the time. Now Mr. Grimm should come right for me. I'm not exactly ready for him. And the homing missiles have not respawned. I didn't collect them. I don't know who did. 
collect them. So, I don't have much ammo at all. There should be good stuff in one of these alleyways. But it has already been looted. I think there's a bit of a Jingle Bells theme here in this uh, theme song. Because this is a Christmas game. And then when it was remixed for Twisted Metal Small Brawl, they explicitly added Jingle Bells to the mix. I think if I stand here, Mr. Grimm will come right through my minefield. Pretty much did. He only hit half the mines, though. Nye. Okay, he died somehow. Must have run into a mine. I ran into a road spike, though, so I was a bit of a sitting duck there. He could have easily whipped around and flung those scary faces at me. As he often does. But you can see very clearly here on the PS1 version. It's definitely the same sprite. It's just generally a little easier to see on the PC version. To the point that I wasn't even sure that it was the same sprite. Until this very playthrough. There's Spectre Special. It'll probably hit me any second now. Hammerhead, a little confused. Driven by the two worst drivers in the entire competition. Mike and Dave, I think, in this game. And then we guess that Dave dies. And then it's Mike and Stu in the next game. As far as I recall, the plotline of my least favorite characters. Just leave mines everywhere and hope for the best. We'll pick up there. What we learned last time when we played on the PC version is one of these grates is breakable and has power missiles and homing missiles behind it. But there's no indication of which one is breakable. It takes a pretty stiff hit to crack it open. didn't test whether or not this was the case on the original PlayStation version. And I'm getting harassed too much to keep checking. We'll check back later. I think I didn't bounce off that pole that I clearly drove right through. Hate when that happens. possible that one of the drivers of Hammerhead was named after Dave Jaffe. Never considered it previously. But a lot of the vehicles in this game were named after various developers. Famously, Scott Campbell drives Spectre and is the producer of the whole series. Basically, one of the two main guys behind Twisted Metal. Honestly, enemies have been abnormally aggressive throughout this entire playthrough. And especially right now. We got honked at. 
go. And he's got homing missiles. Who gave Sweet Tooth homing missiles? This is a nightmare. An unmitigated nightmare. Ah, well. This thumper. Be a pain. And yeah, I got sniped by a ref, of all things. Oh, that was my last life. I didn't even realize that. No big deal, we had literally accomplished nothing. At the point where I died, so. That's X square, triangle, triangle, triangle. This time, not cheating. As we definitely saw, I did earn my way to get to Cyberbia. Now to kill this 10,000 HP worth of enemies. With nothing but a starting inventory. And what we collect along the way. Hit the thumper with Molotovs to little effect. Roadkill special is like a bunch of triangles. For some reason. But otherwise, it's just a missile. All the specials in this game are just the missile, except for the flamethrower and the taser. And I guess the acid, but that's ultimately just the missile. It looks like acid. So it's just the missile. I think I'm taking more damage than I'm dealing thus far, and you don't want that when you're this outnumbered. Yep, specters all over my case for some reason. I guess I mentioned the driver. I wants to wipe out my forbidden knowledge. Just who that ghost is behind the wheel. Never made it into the grates inside the LA River. Oh, hi, Spectre. Spectre is really harassing me today. I'll take that health refill as soon as I get through Dark Side. Just phase right through Dark Side. It's not really phasing though when you take tremendous amounts of damage in the process. I don't have enough to kill Spectre, but I can teach him a lesson, that's for sure. Don't fight enemies that have slightly higher HP than you. Except through cowardly hit and run tactics. Especially when you have a special that shoots through walls. Spectre should really know better. Plenty of strengths, man. Pretty sure it is the grate that has an oil slick pickup in front of it that can be destroyed for good prizes. Shows what I know. I swear one of these can be blown up. Looking through the wall to cheat yields nothing. There we go. I knew it was real. 
And it's really good stuff. It's a power missile and a homing missile, the two best missiles. Stop for this health refill. Enemies all over my case. This is absurd. Bumper. Magnetically. Pushed away from all my Molotovs, unfortunately. Sweet Tooth's probably got homing missiles for me. Maybe I should get some homing missiles for him. Or powers. Powers are also good. If I kill Sweet Tooth, I'll be in much better shape. Sweet Tooth has proven to be very dangerous. But he ran away too fast. He's all the way on the other side of the river. Just running laps out there. He's got one HP. Still got one HP. And he turned the place into a wacky bounce house where I can't really chase him. He's down. Mr. Grimm was guarding the health refill. Let his guard down for a second. I snuck in there. Yeah, this is a bizarrely aggressive run. Not even on hard difficulty. I have no idea why everyone's so aggressive. But it's fun. My primary tactic when playing this level specifically is divide and conquer. And it is quite impossible right now. I believe Darkseid took a lot of damage there by going through me while I was recharging my health. Out of turbo. I literally can't move. I got stuck in a freeze cycle. So I need to use my superior speed to escape dark side, because that's all I got right now. Try to run over the dog, but the dog is mercifully invincible. And I escaped Thumper for now. Hammerhead's the last obstacle in my quest to get this full heal. Gotta line it up perfectly. There we go. Jesus demands perfection before he will heal you. He helps those who help themselves. And we've been helped. May yet survive. Mr. Grimm might actually die not last for a change. That would be interesting. Yep, there he goes. Mr. Grimm, third enemy down. And we're about to round the halfway mark. Dark side doesn't kill me here. The halfway point is a big big moment, because it is a turning point. After that, the level does become a lot easier. Dark side is all over my case. This is absurd. Hyper aggressive dark side. It's like I'm in the movie Duel here. There. There's our second gigantic obstacle taken care of. I don't think there are any opportunities to heal available at the moment, though. I can 
restock, but there are quite a few opponents down here. And refs. Take pot shots for a little while. And swerve around wildly. Because that's my best defense. I can't shield, I can't heal. All I can do is try and confuse him. Could be something in this van, but I don't think so. I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, all the remaining enemies are stacked up, which means they're going to hurt each other. Yeah, they killed Thumper. They just can't help it. They're so aggressive right now. Just hungry sharks. If they can't get at me, they'll kill each other. Yeah, there is a thing I've seen in chat where you can put, like, sunglasses on an emote. And I have absolutely no idea how to do it because I never use Twitch myself, except when I'm streaming. I rarely post emotes whilst streaming. But if anyone has any hot tips on what button makes that happen, now is the time to share. Warthog is here. Hopefully for not much longer. Wow. Two power missiles. Did like a third of Warthog's HP bar. I really expected him to have one HP left over. And then whip around and murder me. The sunglasses fit like almost exactly over Sweet Tooth's eyes, but not quite. He's wearing them slightly on his forehead. Good stuff. There's roadkill. Still don't see any recharges available. And Hammerhead's not going down without a recharge. Fortunately, right when I said that, they all became available. I think we're all set. Took this level a little slowly. And not very safely. But it looks like it's gonna pay off. Yeah, Hammerhead died from the mines, as I'd hoped and expected. One more recharge, and we should have absolutely no problem killing Roadkill. Oh, Roadkill has more HP than I recalled. I can still kill him. Just crash headfirst into him. No regrets. Maybe some mild regrets. But I can heal and he can't. I think now that I got his attention, yeah, he's leaving the LA River. Trying to? Yeah, he never made it out. He spent almost the entire level in here. Surprising that he didn't just get stomped by the other enemies who were passing by frequently. Way Thumper did. There's Thumper's corpse. I did not kill Thumper. I will not take credit for that. Onward. To the finale. First, we gotta break this thing open. It's gonna take a while. Special's ill-suited. There we go. We got an entire power missile.
We actually get fairly low HP opponents here. As Yellow Jacket, which you would think would be merciful. It might not actually be all that merciful. We'll see. But I did come in with a lot of damage from the missiles I had collected before completing the level. This could come in handy. Also, this vehicle is just fast enough that we never have to use turbo to get between buildings. Slightly slower vehicles if you've got two points of speed or less. You will have to use turbo to get between buildings. Or you'll only make it like half the time. The other half you fall and die. about ready to blow. We hadn't really seen it previously, but we have no treads on Yellow Jacket. So when we take a sharp turn, we just slide and slide as though we are affected by an oil slick. This is a level where our positioning typically is my lifesaver. So getting precise positioning is not easy to do. Precise positioning. <laughs> um, yeah, Outlaw did die. I don't know how, but it happened. Goodbye to Outlaw. Gonna wait for Thumper to do the cheap shot. Right about here. Crimson Fury is waiting back here. Crimson Fury, I should be able to handle no problem. Power Missiles alone will kill Crimson Fury. But we also have... some homing missiles that are hard to get. Because my turn radius is horrible. So yeah, I feel pretty good about how we're going to handle the enemies. Uh, there. Surgical precision required. Who doesn't love an ice cream cone? Hey, thank you for the gift sub. Glorious. We are celebrating a job almost well done. Mostly done. And done relatively well. Crimson of Fury should not have jousted there. Was not up to the task. Now for the big one. We do have all of our lives remaining. So if ever were, there was a time where I could handle the big one, it would be now. He's headed my way. Getting shot in the back by refs. And I got hit with a missile. In the exact moment. That minion appeared, opening me up to be comboed to death. Love this game sometimes. Only sometimes. I was at about a 270 on my enjoyment of the game. I might have just been bumped to around a 300. That is on the 360 scale. I was keeping track. Minion specials headed my way. Minion should get caught on the corpse up here. Just because he takes up so much space. That should give me a bunch of free hits. Oh, he phased through the corpse. I think I'm like shooting the corpse. fell off. 
so we get a moment to breathe. I really should go fight him. Because I have a lot of resources here. I would probably still win. That corpse has really changed his behavior. Made him make a lot of mistakes here. This is something I've tried to set up intentionally in the past, but I just sort of lucked into it here. Minion comes up here, gets caught on the corpse, deals itself a bit of damage, then accidentally turns itself around. Now I need to restock, finally. Hey, the, f the health refills open again. I don't get a lot of uses of this thing. No weapons. Because weapon respawns are random, as far as I can tell. Nothing down here. No weapons available. Fortunately, I'm just cooking up ball tops constantly. Just a constant stream of ball tops. Not constant enough. One touch from Minion. I am dead. Give me the turbo. Don't need to do figure eights around it. Anything down here now? We got a fire missile, the worst kind of missile. It'll have to do. Minion camping the platform. Inadequately. I can set up my cheap shots. And so I must do. Because now I could actually die. I whiffed so many of my shots. What's with the hitbox on these things? It's working against me all of a sudden. There he is. I could still break away. Yeah. Like this. If I don't get sniped by refs, we can still win this. And probably enough. we go. Whoosh. Victory suicide. Doesn't get any closer than that, though. So we are the winner of the competition and are granted an audience with Calypso, the creator of the Twisted Metal Contest. And we know all this. This is all stuff that appears in every single ending. It never changes unless you play as Mr. Ash, who terrifies Calypso into not reading his spiel. But we're right at the point where... Here we go. As you know, I shall now grant you any prize you request. You smile nervously and say, I just wanted some information. I want to know if my son is still alive. He disappeared 20 years ago and I haven't seen him since. Calypso frowns, then gives you your prize. It is not good news. It turns out that you saw your son on this very night. He was the driver of the ice cream truck. For the last five years, he has been using the name Sweet Tooth, traveling the country looking for victims. Up until tonight, he was one of the country's most wanted serial killers. Now he is dead, compliments of you. As you speed off into the LA night, you shout, oh yeah, as you are filled with a sense of anguish and regret you never thought possible. Perhaps you'll compete in the next Twisted Metal contest and ask Calypso to take away your suffering. This is a setup for Twisted Metal 2's big finale, where Sweet Tooth's father emerges from the sewers and shouts, I want my little clown boy back. 
Probably. That's what I think they were going for anyway. But yeah, it's a weirdly maudlin ending. Which doesn't really fit with the tone and was changed completely from the live action variant. Yes, the live action variant. We know it well. Let's watch the live action variant. Enough teasing it. <laughs> Here it comes. Brace yourself. As you are the winner of this contest, I have agreed to grant any request you ask for. But yet, you've asked for nothing. Well, I... I just... Well, actually, sir, I... I really wanted just another chance to drive. My God! You killed everyone. You suddenly don't drive like a man who has nothing to gain. In a way, you took out your own son. Oh... That was one of the best kills I've seen in the last ten years. It's hard to believe you're really the father of that psychotic clown in the ice cream truck. Your driving skills are vastly superior. Come now, Mr. Kane. You must want something. Soon, as you can probably tell, I'm gonna pass along. I just wanted one more shot. Mm, what if I told you there was no need to move on? No need to ever die. What do you mean? I have many abilities, Mr. Kane. Many powers. You are a lucky man. Well, just a second. I, I, I don't want oh, this. Please, Mr. Kane. What have you got to lose? Trust me. Oh, that's strange. It tastes like... Mr. Kane, the world is now your oyster. I need a driver. Someone to travel the world and search for new drivers for each year's competition. You'll never die. And you'll drive forever! What do you say, Mr. Kane? Sounds good to me, baby! Classic. One of the best endings in Twisted Metal history. <laughs> we elected the wrong Kane. Clearly, Charlie should have been the main character of the entire series, not Needles. Should have all been about a ghost driver who is working to overthrow Calypso after being granted immortality or something, or whatever happened there. Ah. Uh, it's a real shame that Charlie is, like, in two games in the series. Technically three if we count the 2012 remake, but that is a very, very different take on Charlie. So yeah. Goofy run, goofy character. Wasn't that excruciating, I did have to take it very slow, but I still beat it in under an hour. <clears throat> Which isn't necessarily easy to do. Because, uh, I'm not kidding, this vehicle sucks. Maybe the most difficult vehicle I've had to play through as. Like, it took a lot of practice to get through, say, Crimson Fury. But, Crimson Fury is actually very, very strong when you get used to it. Ditto Mr. Grimm. Yeah. Let's see if my math was right. We have done... Darkseid, Thumper, Crimson Fury, Pit Viper, Warthog, Mr. Grimm, 
Yeah. So that should have been the seventh. Like five more to go. And we had a question about how it compares to Outlaw. Outlaw gets an extra point in armor. Trades handling for armor. You really don't feel that difference in handling because um, Yellow Jacket also handles like garbage. And that extra point in armor is gigantic. Four armor feels really, really good in this game. Three feels like trash. I was running scared that whole playthrough. But there we go. That's Charlie Kane with a job well done. Now, we're gonna play a whole other game not related to Twisted Metal. And it's also going to be a bad idea, just like playing as Yellow Jacket was. A game I'm only familiar with because I was advised not to play it. So stay tuned if you want to see that. I don't know why you would. But this concludes our playthrough. <laughs> I am Fiendly, and I thank you for watching Twisted Monday.